Uh, and now, so we have the possibility to be part of a historical changing point. We know that several times in history we did the wrong things, or at least the bad guys had won, and uh, this time we uh, have a, a serious responsibility. And so uh, these have to be um, uh, recognized for, for everybody uh, as, as a human being. Now, particularly, let's uh, see what we should do in the more spoiled, white, uh, occidental postmodern part of the world, which we mostly come from, uh, and also in the in the cultural sector. The, the, for me, the cultural sector. Uh, so I, I really much agree on this idea that we have a responsibility on this inertia that is happening, and we all have to take a step on that. That the the hurry to change is a very good title. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I can say about uh, I also take the bubble thing because. What I think is that um, uh, the, the, the cultural sector, I can see that here is a quite an important exception, thanks to probably Relais uh, Culture Europe and, and other partners. Uh, but in general, uh, my, uh, the cultural sector is not ready to change. In fact, the cultural sector, sector is one of the more conservative and it is one of the, the problem uh, for uh, this re uh, uh, historical responsibility. I think that. Um, uh, France, in French, which is the uh, Le Coeur de la Culture, he did a very important work because it is really kind of uh, the place where we can still f f uh, put the culture face to the market and say, okay, our life is not just buying and selling, that we have also feelings and thinking, and the culture is very important, and still France is keeping this very important step, but also with culture we have created a bubble in which the cultural sector thinks he has a privilege, some privilege and some, uh, and not really a, respons a selfish mm -hmm. responsibility, a responsibility towards themselves, as you say, and not towards to be part of, of a, a society, and uh, that we did a good work in protecting culture, but then we become, via this protection of bubble, we become a bubble, uh, uh, this protection of culture, we become a bubble, and in some places, uh, like France, uh, there is also this defense of the idea of culture. But in other countries, like our, where we have no defense of culture, we still have the bubble of the culture. <laughs> so uh, <coughs> I think it's important that we shake our sector because it's one of the principal responsible of the fact that the internet can be cut, etc. So, uh, so what we can do? So also I want to go to liquid. Why now we say liquid? No, because uh, internet, uh, what we were saying yesterday, that this intermediation is very important because the disintermediation uh, made the fact that we become adults, that we don't need a father, a political party, uh, a, an editor for music, an editor for the newspaper, but we can take as citizens the responsibility uh, on what we know, what we are going to do, what we uh, knowledge, etc. So, internet is very important uh, because it's a battlefield. Because we have to defend internet, because it is the tool that we that that is making this history the, the history of humanity change. So, we have to defend it that it doesn't become private, <coughs> that is uh, uh, useful for everybody, like electricity, etc. But it is a tool which is very important to make us all. In the adult individual that we can do our own communication and take our responsibility and is also a philosophy this philosophy we are speaking very much of uh, sharing uh, the possibility of sharing of showing uh, this uh, philosophy of decentralization in which uh, now the importance is not in the center in the group but is in the decentralization of leadership and decentralization of, of leadership which make it liquid in the sense that we don't need to go to a center, we don't need to have an association, a party, a newspaper, an editor. We can be citizens moving from a place to another and getting related and putting our work and skill and responsibility and love uh, in use for, for uh, a human change. So we have these three um, uh, part in which we have to take a step, and in and the culture, this as human being, but the cultural sector have a, a bigger responsibility of any other. Uh, uh, why? Because um, 
we are responsible for two of the more nasty things and then one which is good thing. So two very nasty and, and one good. The very nasty are uh, the idea of uh, we are the instrument to persecute the use of internet for the piracy. We have already spoke about this, so we have the responsibility to say not in my name, the persecution, the limitation of the internet, the criminalization of the use of the internet, etc. We have another responsabilization, which is gentrification. Gentrification, megapoles, uh, all the uh, this neoliberalism is really a structure in the city, particularly on and also in the rural, on an idea of centrification. And many times, artists are used as again as a tool uh, because we are weak, because we are always asking, talking about our ego. So we think we are genius, but with a very precarious work. So we are a bit schizophrenic, like a genius, but not paid. So it's a bit strange. Uh, but so we have in exchange the possibility to be the center of the city, and so we become a passive tool for. Uh, the, the, the destruction of the, uh, the, 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 the network and uh, uh, society in the city, uh, the, the human relation of the population, the roots, and, the, and not only the roots, the receiving of the new people which are expulsed from the city because of gentrification, the new people coming and also the, the old people that were already there. So also this friction between the new, the, the, the people coming and the people going away is uh, artists have a, a big responsibility on that. And then the good thing is that uh, uh, art have, um, uh, um, is, was always a very strong tool of a transformation. This is, of course, obvious. And we have to be, um, we have a lot of space uh, in this new transformation to be useful because it's a moment of transformation and we are catalyzer, we are accelerator of the new. Uh, uh, something very new is happening, a, re a revolution is going on with an epicentrum in Spain, uh, which is true. I, I must say, it's funny because if we would say it's in France, but say, of course, the epicentrum in France, the revolution is obvious. But when we say in Spain, I say, well, okay, no. <laughs> it cannot be the epicentrum in Spain, but it is, I oh. promise. I'm there, I can see. Uh, and so, uh, but also in other places. So I think uh, Spain is given an example. And uh, what we do in Spain via uh, also artists and a new way of explaining, uh, not of explaining, of uh, sharing the experience of the, this new way of, of organization between citizens, uh, a more adult, more liquid, with more responsibility. We are saying it a lot with arts, with mise en scène, with the graphic, with uh, written with the uh, with with the body and with the and with the, uh, the, the brain and with the soul and is is taking a very important place and uh, it's also a way for the sector to regenerate because we are doing art in places um, more much more dynamic uh, we are now we are now mm, doing art in the political uh, change of the society and I think it's uh, uh, important and and really happy f for the sector because we were a bit lost huh? we were a bit saying I'm doing something that I think is useful but nobody listened to me why so probably it's just because we need we have now a, a beautiful space for acting and uh, we just to have to adjust uh, how our takeover responsibility and our skills are uh, can be really use useful for for actions, and there is a lot of place to do that. So to end on this, okay, um, later, huh? uh, okay. So we must have a plan to do all these things. I think I, I give some, just some note about the plan, which are um, uh, the, the friction is not anymore between uh, private and, and uh, public. We now, via the liquid, via the new responsibility from the citizen, we are taking about the commons, talking about the commons. The commons, it's all of us with our skills, and we have something to fight for, because it's happening on the spite of the private and the public, which yeah. haven't understood yet the commons, but they will in some point. Uh, so we have a new space in which we can enact as, as a citizen. and so, and. so um, what we can also do very much in practical uh, with the political perspective from the uh, European Commission, uh, European Union. 
the European Union have two trips, a bit sick. The market and the other one, they have to have it. They, they would prefer to not have it, but they have to have it, which is democracy. So they work <laughs> with on market and then they have to work on democracy. So uh, on if we uh, give concrete action in whatever we do, if we are dentists, if we are baker, if we are artists, if we take action giving from this common uh, new uh, possibility, new uh, experiences for to create a market which take the commons as a center, so a market with, with a return to the, to the public, to the common, to the, where we have took our energy and we are able to give it back, uh, this is something that each of them uh, can do without waiting for others to be understood or to be, uh, or to be part of something. Uh, we can uh, do it as an individual, we can do it as a group, we can do it as a uh, liquid uh, movement, uh, gathering for a little while and then uh, gather with others. So this idea of uh, producing an economy that they in, 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 uh, uh, think on the commons, it's one thing that we can do and we can fight for. And the uh, EU cannot <coughs> give it back because this is the market. We are differentiating the market, so they cannot. Uh, they can say that we are not doing what they like so much that uh, us to do. And the other thing is democracy, is transparency, is uh, to use um, uh, to uh, yeah to uh, to fight for uh, the democracy with the very simple uh, meaning uh, behavior on. Yes, on transparency, on solidarity, uh, but not careful because sometimes uh, when culture becomes politics, it becomes assistencialist, assistencialistic. Yeah, that uh, oh, I take care of the poor people, but then in my in my uh, context, uh, I am selfish. But I am very worried, or how poor or how sad are uh, just some border away. But I, I'm not saying that we have to fight democracy in a way um, to be um, helping others, but also, but especially to help us to behave in the spaces in which the democracy and the relation between citizens is respectful, transparent, and uh, push the system to accept forms that uh, forms against censorship, etc., uh, etc., et that are now uh, being limited. And all this, so local, global, and also in internet. Because internet is a place that we have to occupy and we have to live <coughs> as the local, as the global, but also the digital.